Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Srinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga teacher. Today in this video, we are going to talk how Ayurveda can help in maintaining your diabetes, especially the pre-diabetic stage and what are the methods and ways uh, are being described in Ayurveda that can help people to come out from their pre-diabetic stage and how it can be helpful in maintaining the diabetes. Uh, so let's check it out. Ayurveda remedies for uh, diabetes or it is also called as Madhu Mehe in Ayurveda are the oldest literature that's been available in treating any kind of diabetes. There is no more older literature is available in any medical textbook uh, that's been mentioned in Ayurveda. So let's understand what is the Ayurvedic approach towards managing a diabetes or a pre-diabetic stage. We all know like every one of us, it is not, it never happens like tomorrow morning they get up and they get up with diabetes. It never happens like yesterday you don't have diabetes and, and suddenly you get up next morning and you felt, oh my God, I do have diabetes. As we all know, it is not an acute infection, it is a chronic disease. Chronic disease means a causative factor which is responsible for the formation of this disease doesn't stay outside your body. It is not some kind of bacteria, virus or uh, any protozoa that just act from outside your body and that cause diabetes to you. No, it is a lifestyle disease. That means the causative factor of this diabetes resides inside your body and with pace of time with slowly, slowly, slowly the kind of lifestyle you have, the kind of situations you went through, the kind of genetic makeup you have and the kind of habits uh, that you have developed, if, uh, eating habits, living habits, uh, lifestyle habit, how you live your life. These all factors play an important role in all chronic ailments. So let's see how Ayurveda can help to uh, maintain uh, diabetes and how it can be helpful to uh, to bring people come out of pre-diabetic stage. Let's understand what is this pre-diabetic stage and what is diabetes. And in this video, we are going to talk about only diabetes mellitus, uh, which happen, which is also considered as lifestyle modification disease. We are not going to talk about diabetic uh, diabetes insipidus or gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is that diabetes which happen to pregnant ladies, especially during the gestation period. So uh, in this video, we are going to focus only on diabetes mellitus. And it is also known as Madhu Meh in Ayurveda. And the pre-diabetic stage in uh, uh, Ayurveda, it's mentioned as Prameh. Prameh is a Sanskrit word or pre-diabetic stage, we, we can also connect it into, uh, into with the word so that nobody get confused. It's a pre-diabetic stage, which is especially characterized by profuse urination. So the importance of Ayurveda comes in this pre-diabetic stage because if we are well aware of our pre-diabetic stage, this is that stage in which a patient is not diagnosed with diabetes mellitus, but they, there are certain symptoms which he is feeling within himself. He is not feeling very well, but still he doesn't have diabetes. Clinically also, if you want to find out, figure out whether uh, if you have diabetes or if you don't have diabetes that we all know we will go for fasting blood sugar level test and which is available in clinical laboratories all the laboratories have this kind of facility in which the uh, levels which are considered as totally normal uh, blood sugar level that is less than 110 mg per dl so if your blood sugar level, fasting blood sugar level that has been done empty stomach, if this level comes like this, that means you don't have diabetes. If your fasting blood sugar level comes between 110 to 126 mg per dl, that means you come in the, uh, in this premises of uh, pre-diabetic stage. So this is the stage when Ayurveda becomes very, very important because the ways and methods that's been prescribed in Ayurveda that will be very, very helpful uh, for a person to come out to normal, that is blood sugar level below 110 mg per dl. When your fasting blood sugar level becomes more than 126 mg per dl, 
So, this is the time that you are being diagnosed with diabetes. After that, most of the times doctors ask you to take uh, medication, the anti-diabetic medita medications to maintain your blood sugar level and so that more complications should not happen in the body. So, but if your blood sugar level is between 110 to 126, that means that is the time then uh, when you have to pay attention and you can incorporate all the methods that has been prescribed in Ayurveda, uh, how to remove the causative factors of diabetes in your day to day life so that your blood sugar level will come to normal that is less than 110 mg per dl. There are many other uh, criteria also to diagnosing the diabetes but that is more related to medical concern and from non-medical field person he need not to know so many criteria because anyway when you will visit doctor he will let you know uh, all the things all the uh, uh, all the do's and don'ts that you need to do being a diabetic and not to do being a diabetic. So, but these are the basic informations which I am telling in this video so that you have little bit idea, little bit knowledge about this disease and so that you will not ignore these things and not land it into complications like we know diabetes has many complications also associated with it. But there are certain methods and routines and lifestyle modifications that has been mentioned in Ayurveda that will be very helpful to, uh, to help a person to come out of diabetes. One thing I would like to clear like those people uh, who are diabetic that means their blood sugar level is more than 126 uh, mg per dl and they are on diabetic uh, medicines. Those people should not immediately stop taking medicines they should always uh, refer to their doctor before decreasing any dose of any medicine because sudden, sudden withdrawal of medicines because most of the people these uh, people do these things they think okay we will shift to naturopathy now what we will do we will withdraw uh, all the these uh, medical uh, all the medicines that we are taking uh, for maintaining our diabetes and we will suddenly go into total uh, natural therapy. So please do not do these things you always if you are on medication please always uh, reduce the doses of your medicines according to advice of your doctor anyway because all the diabetic, uh, diabetic patients visit their doctors once in two months or whenever uh, their uh, sugar level raises they visit or when it becomes very down they visit. So, always do changes uh, in your diabetic protocol of medicines according to your consulting doctor to whomever you are consulting. But those people whose uh, diabetes is under 110 to 126 mg per dl and they are on no medication for diabetes. For those people the lifestyle modifications that has been mentioned in Ayurveda will be very very helpful to bring them into a normal life. So, and also those people who are taking uh, diabetes medicines, and for you also the, all the methods and ways that has been mentioned in Ayurveda will be very helpful. But this precaution you need to take, you should not self reduce your dose, you always visit your doctor, tell him, check your fasting blood sugar level and all the other tests which are necessary and then according to his advice, please reduce the dose of your medicines, please do not self reduce. Uh, like I am always against self medication, please do not uh, be a self doctor and uh, by self diagnosis just reduce these dose because that will not be so helpful for you. So, let us start what Ayurveda has to say about diabetes. So, let us see what we can avoid in food to so that we should not be prone to diabetes. So, the most important point is ex stop excessive use of curd. Uh, I have seen in many households they eat curd in the morning, they eat curd afternoons and they eat curd at night. So, uh, those uh, people are more prone to diabetes. If you are having curd, please take only once a day curd and never ever take curd during night because it generates ama. Ama means toxins which will invite various chronic diseases unnecessarily. You need to stop eating excessive meat of domestic animals. Uh, many times it happens because of unawareness people are eating meats three times and uh, a lot of meat. If you are having excessive meat it will lead to uh, diabetes, you become very prone to diabetes. 
also excessive uh, use of a lot of uh, milk products like cheese, butter, uh, milk, milk sweets excessively like little bit to everybody eat because we should not stop life also but you if you are eating like excess if you want to have only this much piece or these much pieces you are eating just big boxes so that is also not good for health that also lead, uh, that also makes you prone to diabetes if you are eating a lot of uh, oil uh, in food excessive oil you are eating because limited oil to I, uh, because little bit oil to Ayurveda has prescribed in his cooking. You should eat because it's good for health. But if I have seen some households, they are using excessive oil oil cooking. So much oil they are putting. Even oil is just, um, you know, swimming on the dish. So if you are using these, if you are also using this much oil while cooking, that is not good for health. And that ultimately may uh, bringing you near to diabetes. Another thing which has been seen a big factor in uh, making diabetes or pre-diabetes is stress. So uh, there are various methods and various ways that a person can do to relieve itself from stress. So one of the thing is uh, yoga, meditation, pranayam. Uh, these are the three things that you can adopt in your life to uh, come out of this stress, anxiety, fear, anger. Uh, these all techniques are extremely beneficial to uh, make your mind relax, free from stress, so that it will not lead to diabetes or at least it will be help you, help your body to recover fast. As I told you, most of the times uh, the kapha aggravation, the aggravation of kapha is most common cause in this diabetes or pre-diabetes. So uh, what we can do... Or Till now, uh, that's all for today and uh, there are various yoga uh, practices that you can incorporate in our day to day life like pranayam, yoga, meditation, uh, various kind of yoga sanas uh, that you can do but please uh, do it under trained instructor uh, that because yoga should, be, should come from the right source. Uh, so uh, these things you can incorporate in your day to day life and make your life better because they are definitely very helpful to make your mind relax, make your mind calm and Ayurveda is there to help you out. If you have any question regarding your pre-diabetic stage or diabetes, you please write to us. We would love to answer your question in the best possible way. So with this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed and if you have any question regarding what you can do. Uh, for uh, making your health more better like how to walk, uh, how much to walk, how to reduce your obesity in diabetes, how to deal with hypertension in diabetes and how to deal with diabetes no, so that no further complications will develop and uh, so all these questions if you have you can please write to us and al also once again I would like to request you please don't go for self uh, withdrawal of medicine if you are a diabetic and if you are taking medicine, please always uh, withdraw medicine under the guidance of a doctor uh, because that would be more beneficial for you. And uh, with this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care. And if you have any questions, don't forget to write. Bye. Take care.